Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video, sorry, uh, so today's video is going to be my six by spring update. Uh, I started this last month. It should have been seven by spring, but turns out I, I forgot an item, I was going to add an item in, but then I didn't add an item in. It's a whole thing. So we're just going for six by spring because that's easier. So uh, let's get a move on. I have had progress on everything apart from one item. And that one item was my nose strips. Told you it wasn't a gimme product. <laughs> um, I say this over and over again. Things that are single use items are not gimme products for me because I singularly don't use them very often. Uh, so there's only two in here and uh, yeah, I haven't used them, I haven't used them at all. I do have an excuse though, uh, because I've been suffering with a cold since Christmas, um, I have had a really sore nose. Uh, so I didn't want to be using these blackhead strips uh, that are really quite harsh on my nose. You know, they're harsh in a good sense. Like they, they do what they're supposed to do, but they do pull on my skin. And what I didn't want to do uh, because I had like a broken skin situation, I had a sore on my nose. Um, I didn't want to use them because of that. Um, so that's a valid reason. It's okay. The My nose is clearing up. It still has a little bit of soreness, but I can see that it is clearing up. So hopefully in the month of February, I should get uh, these used. At least one. At least one used. So yeah, definitely before the end of March, which is when the finale is, um, I should definitely have these used. So that is that. I still have two. But anyway, okay. So going on to everything else, um, my skincare item, which was this Revolution EGF Serum, uh, skin conditioning serum, uh, looks like this. Um, so this one was full and it is now down to here. So I have definitely had some good usage on that. I use it um, sort of every other night, I want to say. I don't know if this is a retinol type of product, so I don't want to be using it every night on my skin, but I kind of use it every other night and I really do like it. It goes on really nice, um, sinks in very quickly. Um, but yeah, I haven't really noticed anything different with my skin since using it, uh, but maybe I need more than just a month i don't know um but yeah using it uh last month this weighed 80.87 grams and it now weighs 75.29 grams so it's definitely gone down <coughs> okay my number seven stay perfect eye pencil in the shade gunmetal i absolutely love the color of this um it's so so nice so pretty there it is so you compare this with like blues and it'll come off more blue or you can pair it off with purples and it'll come up off more purpley silver sort of shade you can really really play with this i paired it with a black to give me a really smoky eye look one time I love it. I absolutely love it. It's that's how much we have left. Um, and last month this weighed 12.70 grams and now weighs 12.65 grams. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but I have definitely used this at least three or four times, I want to say, in the last month. So I am extremely happy with that because you know it had got very little use in 2020 so you know i've probably used it more times in the last month than in the whole of 2020 so definitely going down and i'm definitely realizing that my eyeshadow pencils are a quick easy eye look i just stick an eyeshadow pencil on do something in the crease buff it out done so 
yeah, absolutely love this shade. I would like to purchase more from the number seven range, um, but I have an e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow stick in a bronzy colour and I have some NYX uh, jumbo eye pencils in like a rusty uh, red sort of colour um, and I think I have a couple, do I have a couple? No, I think the only sort of shade that I'm kind of missing in a shadow stick is like a goldy kind of colour um, but I have enough golds in my collection in like cream eyeshadows or powder eyeshadows that it's not something that I feel like I need. So I do like these and I would repurchase them again, but not currently because I don't need it in my collection at the current moment. So yes, that's that one. The next item is my Avon True Lights, True Lights, no, True Color Eyeliner in Silver Lights. That's what it was. Uh, so it is the, one of their Glimmer Stick Diamonds eyeliner and that is how much we currently have there if i sort of do it to there so that's about how much we have um again i have been using this every time that i've used the number seven eye pencil i feel like the two really do pair well together and that's kind of like a trick i do with my um project pants i kind of try and make each project pan create one look and that way then I know that I can use all my items together but I really really do like this I try and smudge it on my lower lash line many a times um, and it really does create a beautiful color I will say that they're a little bit thick um, when I try to smudge it on my lower lash line so sometimes it it sticks all my lower lashes together which isn't very nice but I just give them a brush and they're fine again <laughs> um so yeah i've been using this last month this weighed 4.29 grams and this month it weighs 4.25 so definitely going down about the same rate at which the number seven eye pencils going down which makes sense okay on to my lipstick this is the uh, nyx lingerie in push-up and it is just one of those mini sample size that came in the um, advent calendar they did a few years ago. Um, I have taken the stopper out of this a long time ago. Uh, and I can definitely see through. There are some definite windows in there now. Um, but there's still plenty of product on the stick. I still get plenty of product when I apply it. So... I think what I'm going to do with this one is continue to use it until A, it completely dries up and I can't get anything out of it, or until the end of the project and then at the end of the project just declutter it because it's got to be nearly done. It's got to be nearly finished. So yeah, still going with that one. But on last weigh-in, it was 11.11 .11 grams and now weighs 11.03. So definitely getting some usage in there. So, yes. And moving on to the last and final item. It is my nail polish. I... <sighs> okay. I fell in love with the um, nude gold um, one of these nail polishes in a project pan last year. Uh, these are the L'Oreal Gold Obsession nail polishes. And I have fallen in love with this one. It is so beautiful. It's like, it's like this beautiful gold, but it also has sparkly glitters in it. It is so stunning. And when it catches the light, ha, oh, it is like... It is like gold on your nails. It is just purely stunning nail polish. Absolutely love this. If I could repurchase these nail polishes again, I I would snap them up, especially that new gold one. It was beautiful. Uh, so I am now down to here on there. You can definitely see a line there. It was full to the top when I started. Now, I did say in the intro that I would not do a full manicure with this one because, I mean, I don't do full gold manicures. Um, I use this as an accent nail. So the usage is a lot slower. 
Um, but I have paired this with quite a few different colours, with quite a few different manicures. And in fact, this is the first time I haven't used it. Um, I could have used it with that purple. It would have gone beautifully. Um, but I was using one of my colours from uh, my Three of a Kind project. So yeah, that's the only reason why I'm not wearing it today. But uh, yeah, I love this. This will be back on my nails on the next manicure. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this. On last weigh-in, this weighed uh, 32.70 grams and now weighs 32.26 grams. So yeah, definitely going down. Love this. And if you can find these, I seriously suggest you pick them up. They're beautiful. I don't think that L'Oreal sell them anymore. You would have to look on like eBay or um, or on discounted um, makeup sites and things like that. So yeah, uh, absolutely love these, definitely. So that is it. That is my update for my six by spring. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.